There's the baits, there's the setups. You've got that. You're, I pounded efficiency in your head. You've got that, so uh, let's move on. Well, you know, kind of back up. We talked about brim beds. Um, these wolf packers, they're brim eaters. Uh, you know, even that one man wolf pack, he's a brim eater. Uh, I think I maybe already covered that, but um, just touch on it again. Like, you know, you got the brim beds and then you've got brim that maybe sit under a dock. You know, there's, you know, a little group of brim that just sit under the float of a dock or they just sit in the shade under a lay down. That's, that's why I'm calling them brim eaters because they're brim eaters. Um, main lake, uh, main creeks, main lake um, away from the crowd. So in the summer, you know, we're talking summertime here. You've got the pleasure boaters, you've got the jet skiers. There's a lot of boat traffic. First thing in the morning, typically no. Um, but when I say stay from, away from the crowd, obviously you want to stay away from, you know, as many much fishing pressure as you can. But that's not what we're really talking about here. We're really talking about stay away from the pleasure boaters. And the reason is boat traffic, waves. They stir that water up, you can't see. They stir that water up, those fish pull out. They don't, they don't get up there where you need them to be. They don't get up there where you can see them as good, and they don't get up there where you can make them bite as good. When those fish, now you can be going down, doing the same thing we're talking about, burning down the bank. And when those fish, I'm burning down this bank, this riprap bank, or this, you know, whatever type of bank it is, seawall bank. When those fish are catchable, they're close to the bank most of the time. If it's a wolf pack, sometimes they might be out just a little. But if it's the, the actual groups, non-single wolf pack fish, are the easiest because it's a group you throw over there i'm going to get it before you no i'm going to get it before you those are the easiest ones but whenever you get that boat traffic they pull out and you can go down those same banks and where you're supposed to see the fish here now they're here and those fish are almost impossible to catch at least for brian new they are um, and there's, we, we'll get to it in a second, but there's a way you, one good way that you can avoid that, top areas on lakes that, that is super easy to avoid, but, so flat banks, a flat bank is, is, when I say flat, I'm not talking about, you know, it's a foot deep, a hundred yards off the bank. I'm talking not as steep as everything else. Now, certain lakes, that may vary you know, what you would consider a flat bank. Um, <clears throat> with a little water, small spots of shade. Now, small spots of shade. Here's why it's small is so important. I've got this long stretch of riprap, seawall. It's got overhangs, it's got trees down, the whole thing. The whole thing is shade. Well, that whole thing is the target. Yes, we're, we're visually looking, we're visually looking for this fish, but when you have a small target, small spot of shade, you have a small target and you can have a one place that, that's where he's gonna be. You know, if, if you have a long stretch and there's one tree creating one small shade spot, that's where that bass is, that's, I'm not gonna say that's where he's gonna be, but that's the highest percentage. That's what you really, really want to look for. And the information Bass University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.